audio and sound is literally 50% of your video. If you have bad audio, people will click away pretty fast. Luckily, I'm gonna show you how to enhance your voice step by step. Step one, cleaning up the raw audio. I made a selection in the timeline so I can loop this part while enhancing the audio. And boom, we have a 3D object inside After Effects. Now to do that, go to the window menu on top and find the essential sound panel. Then for the audio tag, choose dialogue. This way we get the settings to enhance our speech. Oh, and don't click the enhance speech button. The technology behind it is cool, but it's not there yet. It sucks. Now in this panel, go to the repair tab. This is where you'll find reduce noise. Enable it and decrease the sound little by little. And boom, we have a 3D object inside After Effects. Don't overdo this because otherwise you're basically turning it into a low pass filter, which makes it sound like you're underwater. Step number two, cutting away unwanted frequencies. To do that, find an equalizer in the effects library, then drag it on your audio clip. In the effect controls, open up the EQ by clicking on edit. Once it's open, enable the high pass filter. This will allow you to cut away the low and rumbling frequencies from your recording. Boom, we have a 3D object inside After Effects. This is great because that will leave more space for the other frequencies. Don't cut away too much because that will kill the power of your voice. Step 3. Boosting frequencies for clearance. To do that, grab the last band on your EQ and drag it up. And boom, we have a 3D object inside After Effects. That already sounds a lot better. If you want, you can also boost up the frequencies around 100 hertz. That will boost up the low tones in your voice and make it sound a little warmer. And boom, we have a 3D object inside After Effects. Again, of course, don't overdo this. Step number four, it's time to find problematic frequencies in your recording and remove them. To do that, grab another band and drag it up a little. Now use the width control to make it extremely narrow. This is called a bell curve. You can use it to swipe around in the spectrum to find a resonating problematic frequency. It will sound something like this. Boom, we have a 3D object inside After Effects. And boom, we have a 3D object inside After Effects. Now, when you found it, don't just drag the band down from here. Use the gain control of your selected band and turn it down until you can't hear it anymore. There you go. We're getting there. Step number five, using a great sounding microphone. If you have a crappy microphone, there's little you can do to fix your audio. Now, luckily, high quality microphones are not that expensive anymore. I've been using the Ceremonic Blink 500 B2 Plus and it's amazing. Thank you, Ceremonic, for sponsoring this video. It basically comes in this little box right here. It actually charges your microphones. If this box is charged to 100%, you can record up to 40 hours. Now, it's also compatible with all all your devices. With the 4-in-1 wide compatibility, you can hook it up to your camera and the audio will be synced with your video. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Now, you can actually use two microphones at the same time. For example, when you're doing an interview. This way, you will get two audio tracks perfectly synced. If you're outside, these windshields will make sure it doesn't record wind sound. But if you're in a noisy environment, play around with the NR or noise reduction button. It has multiple noise reduction levels for a refined pure sound. Also, there can be a 150 meters distance between your mic and the receiver. This means you'll never lose signal. I actually love to use this mic with my iPhone to create short form content. All you need to do is connect the lightning connector to your receiver and plug it on your iPhone. Your phone will recognize it and use it as a mic. No need to go through settings and stuff like that. With the USB-C connector, you can also connect to an Android phone or perhaps an iPad. With the provided TRS and TRRS cables, you can connect two smartphones or a smartphone and a camera simultaneously. This is useful if you need the same audio on different videos. No need to synchronize afterwards. You can just clip this microphone onto your shirt or use the magnets. I mean, who doesn't like magics? Ma ma magnets. With the OLED display on the receiver, you can easily adjust the microphone settings to your needs and you can even use the headphone output so you can check if the audio sounds exactly how you want it. So if you want to level up your videos, this will definitely help you out. All you need to do is click the link down below. And now, back to enhancing our voice. Step number six, we're gonna apply compression to even out the dynamic range of our recording. This will bring the quieter sounds and the louder sounds closer together. It makes your voice sound more consistent and also warmer. To do that, find the single band compression in the effect library. Drag it on your clip and go to the effect controls. Then open up the compressor. I actually have a secret trick to get the best results out of this compressor. First, just play your audio in the timeline and take a look at the audio 
meters. As you can see when I'm speaking, the audio will never go below minus 20 dB. So we're gonna compress everything above that. To make that selection, set the threshold of the compressor to around minus 22. This is actually what controls the amount of compression. Ratio stands for the balance between the input and output. So basically the sound that goes into the compressor and that comes out of it. Now what this means is that for every two decibels above the threshold, there will only come one decibel out of it. So if you set this to 10 dB, then for every 10 decibels above the threshold, only one will come out. I hope that makes sense, but if it doesn't, the higher you put this slider, the more aggressive the compression will be. Try around 2 to 4 and you'll be fine. The attack will decide how fast the compression will work. If you think it sounds too aggressive, simply increase the attack a little bit. You can leave the release as it is. With the output gain, you can control how loud your audio will be. For speech, try to aim around minus 6 to minus 3 decibels. We have a 3D object inside After Effects. This is actually my exact effect chain for my YouTube videos. There you go. Now, if you want to see me rant Adobe a little, check out last video about the terrible update Adobe recently released. Thank you guys so much for watching.